What's up, Zox fam? Now, we're gonna be getting into my account with Argent Twilight, uh, kind of giving you guys some tips and what I've been doing personally to be able to progress more efficiently so that you guys can have a much easier time. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we got a little bit to talk about. So the first thing here, uh, when we're actually looking at my account and just what essentially is going on, let's take a look here at my heroes first. Now. One of the things that you'll kind of come across is that you'll probably end up pulling a significant amount of three stars, right? Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think with most gotchas, we look at the three stars as like one of the, you know, worst of rarities to pull. But so far, all of my units that are even at five star are currently nat three stars. Now, the thing is, is that, and I guess this is just kind of one of those things, I guess, to Nexon, um, is for the four stars, like integrating better ways, and even for the five stars, better ways to be able to obtain um, those resources like the skill up books and things of that nature. Because for the most part, guys, I don't recommend actually shooting for uh, four and five stars in the very beginning of your process because of the fact you just will not be able to scale them up efficiently. Uh, the units that you'll be able to scale up right off the bat, and they're gonna definitely help you power push majority of this content is going to be two stars and and three stars so when we're looking at it in that perspective it's definitely going to be more efficient to you as a free-to-play player to pick up some three stars and really uh making sure that you invest majority of what you can into them right now when we're looking at this unit now this is obviously a dark type unit again we will start busting out some character review videos because i do want to talk about certain units that might have certain like you know attribute types or skills or captain leads and things of that nature but what i would recommend is before you think about even doing your first five star consider getting to the point where you receive your first light and dark like ticket or like summon ticket right so we go here and i think that's in tier two right so i would say before you like getting all the way up to here does not require you to have a natural five star um what i will say is that before you decide on who you five star wait till you get to your light and dark feather um because Again, one of the important things about light and dark units is that they are like what I would call their elementals like neutral. So you can bring them into anything. They're either going to be neutral, advantages, and or neutral, right? And that's in terms of the wind, water, and fire, right? So I waited until I had got Kyle, um, who luckily ends up having a pretty solid kit for a three-star. Um, actually, not even solid. He's just kind of broken. But ended up getting this guy. So this was the first five-star that I went for. Um, of course, today is the starlight day for the light and dark um, crystals. Hopefully, they work that out a little bit better. I think during the weekend, it would be better to have at least one day set aside where all of the dungeons open. Open up or at least having a dungeon set to where they open up um on the weekends or all of them are open on the weekends because you do have uh wind water and fire taking up three days and then i think if you do like uh say for example you do uh thursday friday is light and dark and then saturday and sunday is all of them unlocked and then it goes back into a rotation of just fire right that would be really really cool but again um went with the Kyle. I, what I ended up doing was I had a lot of three stars. Um, and I guess this is kind of one of the things that I kind of want to be the one to put a plug on this idea uh, is fusion units, right? Because again, when we're talking about like getting these units, not that it's not possible, right? But it's also about what it takes to get these units. Are these units good? Yes, of course they are. Are they going to help your account progression? Yes, of course. But when you're looking at what is required for you to get these fusion units, this is something that you would end up doing once your account is more invested. Um, and I'm kind of coming to this realization because of the fact that to get your unit to that four star and then to the uh, four star ascended, that's something that definitely requires a decent chunk of resources considering that you have to do this for what, that's eight, eight right there, that's 12 different units. And then once you get up to these five star or these natural four stars, uh, they're not exactly going to be easy to scale up and invest. And I would really say if a free or play account is trying to like progress, you're not gonna want to just be making these and then having these ready to just fuse. You might actually want to utilize them on your account. So this is 
something that you would probably come back to later on and then fuse for these higher rarity units. Because then again, you won't even have the resources necessary to really even make these units um, as strong as they possibly could be. So I think that that's one thing that I would say personally to shy away from. If you do want to still continue and take the slower route and put the units to the side, that is entirely up to you. But for me personally, I just went ahead and I fused a lot of those three stars so I could help progress my account and just making sure that, um, again, I'm just making my units a lot stronger. Now, when we're looking at in terms of where I'm at in content, I'm currently running a... Uh, uh, auto farm on 1-1 right now so we are in hard mode so hard mode is a little bit harder i guess it's not like super crazy but again um i do have fairly built up units but when we're looking at our duot conquest i am currently on i think stage seven um i might be able to do eight um i gotta try eight so i'm trying to power push as high up as i can and i have a guy kind of coming for that i want to at least be able to farm efficiently four and five star p Pieces, I think that's where I'll be able to see a pretty like decent shift in my gear. Um, again, really the goal is going to be to get to these uh, you know six star pieces. That's definitely going to be the goal. But if I can comfortably for now, considering we're only days in, get to the four uh, four and five star slot, I think that the, that'll be pretty perfect for me. All right. Um, now when we're also looking at some of the other. Let's see. So we have the uh, Thal's uh, Conquest open. Now, this is something I haven't really dabbled too much into yet. And that's because I need a, a really, I need to start building a water team for this. Um, again, you can bring like some of your fire units. But when we look at what I have, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I have the units. I just got to build them, I guess. So we'll be getting into that. And then I have a video coming for this later on. But this is a little bit more mechanic savvy in comparison to the uh, Duat Conquest. Um, and it does drop a different like slew of sets that you can actually obtain. So we're going to be focusing on that. But I would definitely say Duat Conquest is probably going to be your first priority. Um, the Starlight Lake, we are actually on... So let's see, we are actually on stage six on the Arca um, Arcane um, Starlight Lake. And then I haven't touched the light one because I don't have any light units. So to me, that would have just been a waste of, you know, stamina. There's no light units, There's no need for me to do that right now. And when it rotates back, I'll think about doing it. But we do have uh, some dark units. So I did get all the way up to uh, stage seven. I probably can do stage seven. I just haven't attempted it yet. So that'll be that just, you know, in the future to try to get, you know, the most out of that. And then when we're looking at, I think it's one more thing that we actually have unlocked, uh, the uh, Tower of Dawn, right? Uh, we are actually pushing to floor 40, and this is going to be my next uh, guided mission. Now, the cool thing is, is that we got that Wings of Ascension here, and that's that four-star one at floor 40. So, yeah, we're trying to push this as much as we can so we can get up here, get these skill books. Um, they got a lot of different rewards, even amongst the floors, um, for you to actually get some pretty good stuff. So, floor 70 gives you another light and dark ticket. So, they have some really good stuff in here. What I really need to get, though, is here to this five-star Wings of Ascension. Um, that's going to be a huge, huge boost uh, to my account. But again, I do think this, there is going to be a healthy balance of pushing, farming, and then pushing content, right? So there's that. And I would say that's everything there. Um, the last thing though, is for the Resolute Battlefield, this is going to end up closing today. So I would recommend you guys like do as much of it as you can. Um, I'm currently like 248th. I just haven't like really pushed it like super crazy. Um, I'll probably try to push some more before reset happens, but the teams, I can probably scrape every last one of these right now. Um, again, it's just because I've decided to really like invest into my composition that I already have and not really stressing so much on higher rarity. I feel like if you try to stress a little bit too much on the higher rarities, you're going to end up slowing your progression. Um, again, there's going to be a lot of farming that you'll do. And when we're talking about getting those nat three stars to make up for, you know, those units, you're going to have a lot of white feathers to actually pull them from. And then let's be honest, a lot of them gold feathers is going to be get you some of them copies too. So again, this is where my account is overall right now. It's not too like crazy, but I will say I am pretty, um, 
I would say pretty satisfied in my progression so far. Uh, the biggest thing though is to just make a lot of use out of your bonuses, and that's one of the things that I've like really capitalized off of. Um, you do get an EXP bonus um, one of these days. I think it's like the third day that you log in, um, and then they're running currently an extra 100%. So this ends up actually stacking. So that's 200% uh, EXP bonus that or bonus 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 that I've been actually utilizing. That's been really really helpful. But that's pretty much going to be that guys nothing too crazy again um i would say just really try to emphasize investing more in your three stars for now that's going to be your best option as a free-to-play player if you do have those four and those five stars you can still utilize them but just do understand that they will have certain limitations until you can get those proper skill ups in them all right so that's going to be that guys let me know what you think and i'll catch you guys in the next one